There's something delightful about a cool breeze on a hot summer day. I wanted to recreate that feeling with my sand swept manicure. To create a windswept effect, I use a fan brush. You can find one at your local beauty supply or art store. I've already applied my first base base coat, and now I'm ready to start with our base color, Saint Tropez. Use two coats on all 10 nails. Now I'm ready to fan with this beautiful fuchsia called Big Spender. Paint the color halfway across the fan brush. Take it to the left side of the nail and sweep it across. For each nail, reapply Big Spender to the fan brush. The only thing you need now is good to go top coat. With one swipe of a fan brush, this look is a breeze. Most people don't know this, but nail polish actually shrinks when it dries. As it dries, the solvents in nail polish evaporate. This causes the remaining polish to recede from the nail tip, making it vulnerable to chipping. Make your manicure chip free by capping the tip. You can cap the tip of the nail by running the bristles just along the free edge or tapping it. This way, when the nail polish shrinks, it hugs it closer to the nail, using the inevitable shrinking to your advantage. A chipped manicure is heartbreaking, but it doesn't have to be stressful. Fixing it couldn't be any easier. 
First take the original polish color and remove most of the product from the brush. Dab the brush lightly on the chip and then feather it into the existing polish to blend the two together. Seal it with a top coat to fully hide the repair and you're all set. Another way to fix a chip is to jazz it up with a little bit of glitter. And for the more advanced nail artists, try hiding your chip with a French tip. For instance, if you have a red manicure like A-List, try a French tip of black like Licorice or Plum like Soulmate. I always tell women, if they only took care of their hands as well as they did their faces, everyone would have flawless nails. When women tell me their at-home manicures chip, the culprit is usually a lack of proper nail prep. Our natural nails are full of oils and residues, which can come from a hairspray, running your fingers through your hair, or even resting your hand against your cheek. Before you polish, it's important to scrub your fingers with soap and water, followed by a thorough wipe with alcohol or acetone. This removes all of the oils and residues and temporarily dehydrates the nail plate, making it the perfect surface for adhesion. Finally, it's important to choose a base coat that suits your nail needs. For instance, if you have ridges, I recommend fill the gap treatment. Or if you need a bit of added moisture, try Grow Faster. Base coat anchors your polish and it prevents chips. It's essential for any manicure. So don't forget, follow these three steps and you will have a flawless manicure that will last. No matter how perfectly you polish, a manicure never looks good if your cuticles aren't properly tended to. To care for your cuticles at home, the tools you'll need are a metal pusher and nipper. As your nails grow, it's natural for the cuticle to grow down the nail plate. Reveal your nail by gently pushing the skin back into place. If your cuticles are tough, I recommend using apricot cuticle oil or warm water to soften them. What's important to remember about nipping is that it should only be done if the skin is lifting or peeling. Overcutting your cuticles is a very dangerous practice. It can lead to inflammation or even infection. Finally, dryness is the root cause of almost all cuticle issues. As you all know, Essie's Apricot Cuticle Oil is my favorite product. I use it for every manicure, models, clients, even myself, and especially when I'm traveling. Turquoise is my favorite stone. It's beautiful, it's healing, and it's great for any occasion. I wanted to capture its essence in a manicure that I call Turquoise Treasure. I've already applied one coat of Million Nails Base Coat, and I'm gonna move on to our first shade, which is, of course, Turquoise and Caicos. I'm applying two coats to all 10 nails. Now that my two coats of Turquoise and Caicos are completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead with one coat of Trophy Wife, a deep teal pearl. True Turquoise is laced with a little bit of bronze throughout. So to recreate that, we're gonna add a coat of Buy Me A Cameo. Buy Me A Cameo is a very unique color. It's a satin mocha. With this manicure in particular, it's very important that you let it completely dry. Remember, it's four coats of polish. To create the turquoise, you're gonna need nail polish remover and a cotton swab. Dip the cotton swab in the remover and lightly brush it over the nail polish. Slowly but surely, you'll reveal the turquoise and caicos underneath. You can use a swiping or a dabbing motion. You use very light pressure. You don't want to remove all the polish. Because the turquoise effect will leave your nails textured, it's very important that you add a generous coat of good to go top coat. Turquoise has been around forever, and this manicure is a great homage to this timeless stone. I'm gonna give you a few tricks on how to perfectly apply your polish. Let me show you what is called the push-pull technique. First, it's important that you ration the amount of polish on the brush. Do this by swirling the brush along the mouth of the bottle as you remove, taking all of the polish off of one side and only half on the other. When it's done, it should look like a lowercase b, which is the perfect amount for polishing. Lay the brush down about one third of the way from the cuticle. Allow the bristles to move outward and the polish to puddle near the tip. Finally, push it slowly towards the cuticle 
and then pull it towards the edge. This technique provides maximum control and a flawless finish every time. I hear many of you have trouble applying glitter polish. You can never seem to get those little flakes of glitter where you want them. Let me show you a simple technique on how to apply perfect glitter polish every time. Spin the bottle upside down in between your palms. This releases the glitter pieces and gets them closer to the brush. Spin the brush around the bottle and when you have a perfect spoonful, lean it against the mouth. Slowly but surely, the excess clear polish will melt through the bristles, leaving the glitter pieces right on top. This gives you perfect control and the ideal glitter to polish ratio. Hi, I'm Rita Remark and I'm one of Essie's lead nail artists. Whether you're watching runway or street fashion, camo is a strong trend that never goes out of style. Today I'm going to show you a manicure look where military meets femininity. I call it contemporary camo. We're going to be using a selection of neutral Essie shades and a detailing brush. Now you can pick this up at any beauty supply or craft store. For our first step, we're going to apply two coats of Essie's Sand Tropez. It's a beautiful opaque beige with a hint of taupe. So now I'm going to start with our camo design and the first color I'm going to use is Essie's Master Plan. It's a beautiful grayish, which is a hybrid of gray and beige. Using my detail brush, I'm going to dip it directly into the bottle and I'm going to start applying my camo design. This is a pattern that is imperfect, so there's no right or wrong way to do it. Sometimes I find it helpful to imagine that I'm just polishing little gray clouds. So once you've applied the camo design on all 10 fingers, clean your detail brush. Our next shade is Merino Cool. It's a deeper grayish with a hint of mauve. It's going to add just the right amount of contrast to set off this nail art look. The idea is to have an even amount of all three shades on the nail. It's important that you finish your manicure with one layer of your favorite Essie top coat and your manicure is complete. This is one camouflage that is definitely going to get you noticed. 